So we're headed to St. Bart's on this trip and my family and I have been traveling to St. Bart's ever since my sweet 16 and we always go there during the Christmas and New Year's time frame. So that's where we celebrate those holidays and this particular year, which was 2019, I decided that I really wanted to bring Ibu. So <laughs> Ibu is my dog and <laughs> he travels well. And the way that we travel is we fly into St. Martin and then we take a smaller plane and then that smaller plane will take us to St. Bart's. One thing worth mentioning is if you ever charter a plane or take a small plane over to St. Bart's is that the landing strip is so tiny. So you kind of have to clear a mountain and then drop like several feet to land um, on the landing strip for St. Bart's. But you know, kind of get used to it after you've done it a few times. There are like 14 beaches on this tiny island and they are all so gorgeous and have like their own special character. So pretty much all we do while we're in St. Bart's is go to the beach, eat, go shopping, uh, going out for drinks, a heavy rotation. <laughs> Because my dad is a foodie, whenever we travel to St. Bart's, we're eating so well. I mean, some of the best restaurants. It's kind of hard to have a bad meal in St. Bart's.
someone comes into the port of Gustavia, it always has like so many yachts throughout the port. And a lot of people are traveling from Beirut, um, the UK, several other places, France obviously, and they come and stay in the port. And so it's really nice when you drive through Gustavia late at night and get to see all the beautiful yachts lit up. Um, obviously, as it like gets closer to Christmas and New Year's, the yachts come in and the port gets so packed. One of my absolute favorite hotels is Hotel Christopher. It's in Pont Malou and it's just such a gorgeous hotel. And what I love to do here is to <laughs> hang out by the pool and just enjoy the drinks and the view. Okay. <laughs> Morgan, look up. So today we're here at the Christopher Hotel. Morgan, Bobby, say hi. It's okay. This is our favorite place to hang out by the pool. Right? We got to experience a special shopping event that hey, Louis Vuitton created. is having at Cheval Blanc, uh, previously known as Belle de France. Is they tie a textile okay. and use it as a handle, oh, very cute. like small, very cute. small books. It's seventy-two thousand plus. <laughs> so right now it's and we have so wardrobes, which is our how we started. More, uh, more different trunks. This is I was living for this chair, which yes. sells for like twenty thousand dollars. Completely ridiculous. <laughs> and this comes in different colors as well. Oh, what other colors? Oh, oh, right. We have a range of. And as always, just eating up the incredible view. Um, Cheval Blanc overlooks Flamand's Beach, and literally, there's no bad view oh, in Saint Barts. Treated okay. in rain and sun. Wow. And it's uh, it actually did, doesn't move. Wow. We have uh, one in Saint Martin. Nikki Beach St. Bart's is obviously like a fan cult favorite. You have to go if you can. Another one of my favorite, personal favorite hotels is Le Bartholomew, which is in the Grand Cul-de-Sac. And what I love about this place is they recently remodeled the entire hotel and it's so chic and so gorgeous. Uh, a lot of wooden treatments and the food there is fantastic. So <laughs> definitely one of my favorite places to have a drink or be by the pool. You know, it's really funny coming to St. Bart's over the past 15 years and being able to see what was and what is now. A lot of places have 
turned over, turned over to something new. Um, for instance, at Shell Beach, there was a restaurant called Do Brazil that we used to love to go to. And now if you go to Shell Beach, you'll see that there's a restaurant, very trendy, very cute, called Shalona. So <laughs> over the time, you'll just see the differences that come to the island and the upgrades that they're implementing for the tourists. Um, Shell Beach is definitely more of a tourist spot, but we love to go to Shell Beach either way. Um, you know, it's just an easier place for people to reach if they're coming from the port and going into the island of St. Bart's. Uh, Shell Beach is probably the easiest beach to get to. Um, there are definitely shells and less sand, so be mindful of that. And Shalana also has great food, so you can't go wrong there. So Morgan and Bobby could not stay for the full trip, so I had my parents to myself, which is always a pleasure. <laughs> Alright, we'll see y'all. And uh, we had on this particular night dinner at Bonito and Bonito is so gorgeous. I think it's a special place in our heart to have dinner here. It overlooks Gustavia and has such an incredible view, which my video of course doesn't do it justice, but highly, highly recommend if you're ever in St. Bart's to go over to Bonito and to Shalona, the Hotel Christopher, all these amazing places that we get to go to and experience. In 2020, we did not get to make it to St. Barth due to COVID. I'm hoping that this year, 2021, now that we are a family of, that has been vaccinated, that we can make our way back to St. Barth because I do truly miss the place. <laughs> Until next time.